Okay, so what we're going to do here is graphing exponential equations that actually include the Euler number, or E. And I, before I explain the Euler number, maybe we better talk about an exponential equation. I'm assuming, uh, so we'll come back to that question, but I'm assuming uh, you have, up to this point in your education, have only dealt with polynomials. So, you know, you probably just got done teach, uh, learning about maybe a polynomial that looks like this. P of X equals X squared. You know, that's the quadratic. You're kind of used to uh, AX squared plus BX plus C. Or, or maybe you, you took it up a notch and did uh, cubics and uh, fourth degree, fifth degree polynomials. So maybe you had uh, something like this, ax to the fifth plus bx to the fourth plus cx to the third, dot, 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 dot. So you're used to that exponent being a, a fixed integer of some kind. Okay, exponential functions are going to kind of turn that upside down. So let's simplify it and compare them a little bit. And I'll show you why they're so important in terms of numbers. So let's say, let's, let's let one of our, you know, let's keep it simple. Let's let one of our functions be y equals x squared. Let's let another one be y equals x to the fifth, so a fifth degree. And then let's look at the exponential. The exponential function is y equals 2 to the x would be an example of one. And uh, so let's, let's just look at these three graphs and compare them in GeoGebra. So we don't know much about them. I mean, we could make tables, and we're going to, but, but let's just uh, use technology to kind of help us out. So here's the thing. When you graph this, here's what it looks like. The black one's x squared. Um, the blue one's x to the fifth. And the red one is 2 to the x power. And if you look at that, it looks like um, that x to the fifth is just huge. It's going to um, outpace all of them. Look how it explodes. You can, whoops, cancel that out. It just is sliding up faster than you can imagine. And, and we could even put a point on there and, and track that if you wanted to and uh, take a look. You know, as you go up, you know, it's really getting big. So at 2.15, it's already 46.38. Whereas these other, like x squared and black, you know, at 2, that, that thing's hovering there around the 1 area. But if you change the scale on this thing, you'll quickly see the power of the exponential function. So uh, let's uh, change the scale around a little bit. Whoop, I'm hitting the wrong button. And let me show you kind of what happens. So right there, when we go out to 5, you know, 4 and 5, you can already see 2 to the x is becoming much larger than the x squared. But will it ever overtake, uh, will it ever overtake x to the fifth? Well, here we go. As I change the scale, and it, maybe the computer is not big enough. Oh, I think it's going to be big enough to do it. It's going to be, oh yeah, there we go. So you notice that black, my quadratic, I'll pull it back up. My x squared function, it just completely disappeared, flattened out. It stays low. But you notice my red exponential getting closer and closer to that Polynom you know, that polynomial x to the fifth. So as I change this y scale, I mean, I'm in the 20,000s there, but you can see right where it overtakes it here at, uh, oh, a little bit in the, like a little bit before 20 and up past uh, 500,000. And you could probably find out exactly where they meet by intersecting the two objects. Yeah, so at 22.44, and uh, yeah, 500, or let's see, is that 3, 5 million. <laughs> so we got, I didn't count my zeros right. So it goes clear up there in the, the 6 million range, 5 and 5.5 and million range, 
they finally overtake each other and the exponential from there on out is the biggest produces the biggest value and that's the power of the exponential function so that's kind of a neat comparison because it's not very intuitive until you uh, take a look at that so there's the exponential function generally what it is now the you the Euler number is defined it's kind of a it's kind of defined in a nasty way if you if you've never dealt with much calculus but it looks like this and I'll explain what this all means it's not as scary as it looks I promise but the Euler number is is defined this way and this is a limit in uh, calculus if you take calculus you're gonna see this used more often and uh, let me just explain what it means as n approaches a very large number that's the infinity sign we are going to come up with a number an irrational number called e or you know, I call it e but it's the Euler number so let's let n be super large I mean our cat we're kind of limited by the power of our technology and the bigger the computers are the bigger uh, the better value you we get for e um, so let's let's use one million we get enough zeros so one plus one divided by one million to the one millionth power you now get your calculator out and and see if you can come up with that see if you can plug that in so when you plug that in um, I'm going to pause for just a second. I plugged it into a pretty cheap $10, you know, $10 calculator. And uh, this is the approximation I got. So, so again, um, this is an approximation. 2.718280 blah, 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 blah. Okay. And so you can only imagine as this number gets bigger and bigger, so as one you know let's not use a million let's use a trillion or a billion what happens is this number approaches an irrational number kind of like pi we know pi you've learned this since you were in elementary school pi is 3.1415 dot 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 and it keeps going on and on and on forever well e to the first power just like pi is to the first power is 2.718 dot 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 forever so you can treat it like the number pi it's an irrational number essentially and uh, you could go into other websites I'm gonna find uh, Wolfram is a kind of a nice site to, to do this in and so here's the Wolfram Alpha site and it's kind of neat because it shows you you could go as many um, as many of these as you want so let's get more digits so you hit more digits there's more digits of E or maybe we want some more digits or some more digits and we could probably keep going and get as many digits as our particular problem needs um, but there that just shows you kind of the irrationality of the number so that's E and all you need to really understand about it for now is that it's this number, this 2.718. And it's also on your calculators. It'll either, it'll usually be just above this button. You know, if you, if you think of your calculator and you got this button, it'll be up here and it, it might just say E or it might say E to the first power or E caret, something like that. You know, this is the natural log uh, number. The, e is really a hor you know the Euler number is really a horrible number to talk about uh, shouldn't say that but it's a lot more fun to me to talk about when you're applying it with uh, with compound interest and fun things like that so um, that's e in a nutshell so if you had a function so um, y equals maybe 2e to the x power and we wanted to graph that Okay, when you graph that thing, um, if you don't know what what you're doing, you know you don't know how that's going to look or anything about it. Um, what you're going to have to do is make a table. 
So this is x, this is y, and, uh, and just start picking points. So maybe we want to start in the negatives, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, um, one, uh, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And you just plug in values and uh, see what happens. So let's do that. All right, so you plug these into the calculator and you get something like this. 0 0.04, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, you know, 0.0. .0 pretty small numbers there. Uh, for negative 1, you've got, uh, so it goes negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. Uh, this one might be, sorry, I skipped one. Um, Plugging that in, you'd have uh, 0.1, then I skipped this one and I went to 0.7 because the numbers weren't growing real fast. And then 0 is 2. So if you think about that, 2e to the 0 power, well, that's 2 times 1 because anything to the 0 power is 1. You know, I'm, what I'm doing is just plugging these in. 2, kind of show my work, 2e to the negative fourth. And I'm just using a calculator to, to do it. 2e to the negative third. 2e to the negative 1. 2e to the first. Well, you can also kind of approximate these numbers. e is 2.7. 2.7 times 2 um, is around 5.4. <laughs> and then 2, we're already getting into uh, um, kind of a, some unruly numbers because we've already, we've already reached 14. Uh, point something, point uh, eight, and then you go to three, and it's really getting unruly. We're fourteen point two or forty point two. So then you could go ahead and graph those things, and what you'd have generally would look like this. So negative four is almost at zero. So we've really got a asymptote here on the x-axis, and then negative. 3, it hasn't budged much. It's still way down there. Negative 2, it's starting to pull up a little bit. Negative 1 is clear up here to 0.7. And then at um, 0, it's at 2. And then uh, at 1, it's at 5.4. And we're already off my scale here. And so this is generally what that equation looks like when you graph it. And you could plug that into GeoGebra. Um, to find to to double check it, so let's do that. Now with GeoGebra, you can go ahead and uh, plug it in. Let's just y equals two. I'm going to put a little times there, and uh, you just got to find it. There it is. E. They actually have the in the drop down. It has it, and it has pi too. If you want to use pi, so two e, and then this to the x power. So caret x right? and we'll take a look and see if that works ah yes there it is so 2e to the x and you can kind of see that following the same pattern that we graphed and so that's that's just how you could just generally graph these and I hope this helps I'm going to give another video that maybe has uh, had some more clarity to this uh, exponential graphing exponential functions Exponential functions are my favorite mathematics. It is the math that is doing everything in your life right now. Um, it's, and you don't even know what's happening. It's, it's fabulous. So see you next time, and good luck.